Newton's third law is about how two different things, so there's two objects, two different objects, how they interact using forces. So Newton's third law is about interaction. And you'll notice that Newton's third law, when anybody ever uses it or invokes it, doesn't actually say anything about acceleration. It's strictly just about interaction. It's about how two things influence each other with forces. So it's about interaction. Interaction is the big word here. <clears throat> there is generically in nature, it tends to be that it seems like things are only ever repelled from each other, repulsion, or attracted to each other, or they don't interact, right? So either they're repelled from each other, or they're attracted towards each other, or they ignore each other. They don't know about each other. They don't, ex they don't have a force interaction. Um, okay, so interestingly, gravity is the name of a particular kind of interaction called gravitational interaction. And gravity is attractive. And you'll notice that when you imagine a person standing somewhere on the earth. So here's this person standing on the earth, and the person and the earth are attracted towards each other. And in this attraction, there are two forces. One of the forces is a force on the person by the earth, and that force, in this case, is this downwards arrow. There's another force, though. It's the force, it's, it's this arrow here. It's the force on the other object, which in this case is the Earth, by the object, the person. And that force, if you look, I just circled it, it's upwards. Newton's third law. is very simple to state for this particular example. Newton's third law says that the force on the person by the earth is only ever equal to the opposite of the force on the earth by the person. This is just what the third law says. And if you think about it, honestly, it's the simplest thing you could guess. Instead of saying that one is bigger or happens afterwards or some other interesting thing to say, Newton just says, well, let's just assume that it's the simplest version. And then when you go and you actually um, do experiments to find out whether or not is, is, is the interaction law this simple, it turns out that it is. So you'll notice that all I'm doing is switching where the objects person and earth are. Can you see that? So on the person by the earth, on the earth by the person. And this is the invocation or this is invoking Newton's third law. Um, it, it, it happens also with a repulsion. An example of a repulsion happening is what if there is a ball called A and a ball called B and they have a collision. During the collision, A and B will not share space. So they, they distort a little bit, maybe have dents, you know, 
depending on whether what, what kind of materials they're made out of. But in this collision, the force on B is towards the right, and the force on A is towards the left. These two things repel each other so that they stay out of each other's locations. All right? So this is a repulsion. And we might also call this pushing. There's a push force. So A pushes on B to the right, B pushes on A to the left. And Newton's third law simply says that in this collision, repulsion, push interaction, the two objects are A and B, and the force on A by B is going to exactly equal the opposite of the force on B by A. That's all it says. If B was repelled from A or pushed away by A by 20 newtons, then A is going to be pushed away from B also by 20 newtons. And this minus sign is the fact that the arrows are pointing in opposite directions. So the minus sign is the opposite. The equals refers to the fact that they're going to have the same strength. And this is Newton's third law.